Welcome home, friend. Do you feel that? In your chest? Yeah, that warmth. That happy warmth. Mm. No, but you seem to be glowing with, with happiness, so go see your name. Okay. I'm going to start booking it to the front door. She starts front. running. She lives in a tree all covered in vines. It's pretty nice. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful house. As she charges up to it, you're like, is she going to climb the vines, or is it going? And then she gets within five feet. You watch as a large section of the vines pull apart like curtains or drapes. And immediately you can just see beyond that, the shattered interior, just the faintest bit of warm flickering firelight sourced somewhere within the canopy. Do you follow? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. With a healthy gait, yeah. like, between. Yeah. Okay. She is darting and ascending up, I assume. Oh, yes. Like, skipping ahead of them. Yes. Full speed, full sprint. You step within the tree, and you can see the actual trunk of this structure. This is probably the largest <laughs> tree you've seen aside from the sun tree. It's comparable in its thickness. Wow. Um, and you can tell about 30 feet up, it splits into two separate trunks that then wrap around each other in a corkscrew upward. And along the corkscrew, multiple branches that settle off as you look up. And each one of these little branches seems to caress like a hand little hut or a room with little wooden bridges that connect, little wooden staircases that wind up. Shut up. This is a... This, this was Finley Robinson would blush and be jealous of this abode. <laughs> Fern, you grew up here. Yes. Just as a voice fills the air. Hinta. We knew you were coming. <sighs> Nana? <laughs> you hear that from above, and the stairs. You can see now the base of the trunk of the tree. There are wooden stairs that kind of spiral up the side, like they're grown out of it, almost like a series of natural branches pushed out and stopped and gave a flat step each way as they just kind of mark their way up along the side. You know this path well. Fern just vanishes up them. Yeah, okay. As you ascend them, you can see dangling from the the not quite as dense hanging vines and tethered bits of uh, kind of limp fern branches that kind of tickle the top of your head as you push through. There are little glowing bobbles that are wrapped up with wire and twine that kind of give a soft glow, different colored glows, some green, some orange, some like a pale blue. This place is intentionally decorated in a very odd patchwork way, but it it's 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 hard to to grasp a presence specifically here. At times it's beautiful and welcoming, at times it's borderline nightmarish. <laughs> but as you climb up the side of this, you eventually come to where the base of the fork of the trunk begins. And there you're greeted by a lowlit cozy entryway, a flat expanse at the base of where the split is. You can see it's decorated in knitted dolls placed on little naturally warped tables. You can see animal skeletons that have been posed in dancing positions with each other that are placed up on little shelves and along the sides of the entryway. You can see alien-looking potted plants that seem to be taking root on their side of the room and guarding it fiercely. More of the staircases and rope bridges you can see begin to splinter off from here and lead higher and higher up to the tree. Oh, Fern. <gasps> How we have missed you. I've missed you so bad! I run over and I just leap into her arms. You see her leap into this shape, 
this shadowed shape on the opposite side of this area that kind of like grabs her for a second and sets her down. What's the size comparison? Uh, the shoulders of this sit at about eight or so feet, seven, eight feet. So higher than Fern. The shoulders are wide. In fact, the torso, from what you can tell, is like a barrel, like a massive seven-foot barrel. Um, it's a, a curious, monstrous body that, after setting her down, kind of shifts in your direction, begins to step further into the light, one arm kind of corralling her as you pull it towards them. It's swathed in a large, patterned, blue-green, robe-like dress that's comprised of patches and rope and wayward branches and hanging tree kits, all just kind of wound together to create this unique texture around this body. You cannot see feet from beneath the robes, but can hear them hit the ground like a dropped sack of full flour with each step. Does it sound like just two feet? It sounds like two feet. Okay. Just big ones. Now the wide shoulders themselves are thin. They come out like pointed skeletal shoulders. The sleeves extending these long, thin arms. You see around the top of the dress, from where these shoulders are, they're obscured by a bunch of dark linen and chiffon that creates like a mantle around it. And from within that mantle, you watch emerge a head and a stretching, craning neck. <laughs> craning like a giraffe. What the fuck? <laughs> wreathed in long, tangled white hair, like a horse's mane that travels down the whole length of it as it extends about two and a half, three feet from the shoulders. At the end of it, you see a wrinkled old woman's face with a pair of noseless nostril holes, a terrifying wide smile of jagged teeth. Her dark eyeless sockets each hold a sunken golden glow. And as the body steps forward, cradling Fern, the full thing in standing height would be close to 10 feet or so with if the head were to stand up straight. The proportions colloquially are very similar to E.T., to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that got weird. Interesting. As she steps forward. Fern, with your friends yes. like a cocktail. Oh, oh my god, yes. Yes, Please. yes, let's get some cocktails. Let's put some music on. I'm sorry we came in unannounced, but guys, this is my Nana Maury. <laughs> Wonderful so to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. We have guests. You hear a voice say, Welcome. It's well. Oh, is she? Does she have a partner? Or? No, that's her. That's also her? More of an echo. Okay. Show Grandma. She like pulls open the front of the dress and you see the barrel torso a massive pair of sunken eyes and a second mouth that stretches across the entirety of the belly that curls into a smile. Hi. She kind of pats it with the larger arms. We haven't had guests in a while. We're excited. Come, let me show you to my tiki bar. <laughs> and that's where it's tonight's episode. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? She's so cool! Yes. Best grandma ever! Oh, I know! I want to be my grandma! Oh. Holy Just shit. Wait. Oh, you know it's I was really, oh, I, I was hoping you'd make more sense, and now I'm even a little more oh confused about it. Welcome home, yes. Fern. Oh, shit. Isn't that so beautiful? Yes. That's amazing. amazing. Oh back, my God, Matt. Thank you. Hey. Welcome back, Tom. I have yes. so many more pasta-themed terrible stories to tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> such a collection. 